Speaking of dreams, I'm here in the heart of broken dreams. Hollywood, California. Every day, people come to this city with stars in their eyes thinking they'll make it big. Of course, most don't. But here's one guy who did. I got him. I'm glad to see you. My buddy, Blake Shelton. Blake Sheldon has become a household name thanks to his multiple wins as coach on The Voice. He's also won quite a few awards on his own. Blake is not just a huge country music star and People Magazine's Sexiest Man of the Year, he's also a huge Elvis Presley fan. Hey, Strange, how you been? Doing good, buddy. Good to see you again. Good to see you. When I asked you to do this, I know you weren't a real car guy, but I know you're an old truck guy. I love trucks. I that's, truck. that's all I own is, is this, trucks. Is this your kind of truck? Yes, yes. Kind of old school? Old school. My very first truck I ever had in my life was a GMC. Well, there you, you go. GMC step side. You want to drive it, see, bring back some memories? I guess so. I mean, my first truck wasn't this old. Yeah, but you're no kid anymore either. So this way. <laughs> <laughs> old guy, old truck. You know I what already saying? hate this show. Remember, put the clutch in. Remember your old three on the tree? I mean, I can drive a normal standard. Right. Oh, this is a shift. You put your okay. hand there. Pull it, pull the clutch, pull it full, pull it down. It's first, straight up, mm -hmm. and that way second, and then straight down is third. OK. And then back up is You never go back up. You're moving forward okay. all the time. Right. You're not a backup guy. You know what? When you're right, you're right. All right, let's start it up. OK, here we go. It's like riding a bike. Oh. You got that three on the tree. That's a good Oklahoma yeah. country boy. You see them fingers. Any dirt under them fingernails? Let me see. Oh, yeah, you got it. All right, OK, OK. Actually, I think that's my Just for Men shampoo. Oh, Just, just for yeah. Men shampoo? <laughs> <laughs> So when did you officially start music? Were you playing in high school? Were you like the guy that played the school dances and stuff like that? I started singing, I think, seriously when I was about uh, 15 years old. So your family was with you. There was no point where they thought, oh, this is crazy, get a real job. No, my, my parents, they both knew that my only real shot at anything was going to be music because I just, terrible in school, terrible grades. Blake has the ability, but does not apply himself. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That was my thing. But everybody, I got along great with my teachers. <laughs> and my mom, she always was on my side when it came to like algebra. She's like, I don't know why they make you do that, you know? You'll never use that in your life. You exactly, know? Yeah. exactly. When your parents encourage you to be illiterate, I think that's good. <laughs> I just did the Elvis 68 comeback special. I uh, saw that in 68 the, when I was in high school. You did? Yeah. yeah. Well, we did the uh, 50th right. anniversary of it uh, right. last year. Why did they ask you to do the Elvis one? Did they know you were a fan, or did they just think you were the guy to do it? What was the reason? They were just looking for a, a current artist that can read. Really? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're a big Elvis fan? Oh, my god, of course. Well, see, that's another reason I wanted you to drive this truck. See who it belonged to? What? This really? Is Elvis, this is Elvis's truck. We had it shipped out here for you to drive. You're kidding me. Well, I wanted you to get the feel of it. I love that. Yeah, this what is, do you mean? What, Elvis what? didn't drive a truck. He did drive a truck. Well, he had a lot of vehicles. We have the van prior to confirm this 67 GMC truck was in fact owned by Elvis Presley at his Circle G Ranch in Horn Lake, Mississippi. One of the many cars Elvis purchased. This is the one he would drive around his ranch in. Wow. So you are sitting where the king sat. Wow. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. That's pretty crazy. Oh, yeah, I yeah. know. It's fun. Now I'm, now I'm getting nervous. Well, see, now you see why we have this truck. Just makes it a little more special. Yeah, it really does. That is literally unbelievable. I would never would have dreamed that Elvis Presley even owned a truck. Well, he owned all kinds of vehicles. Yeah. He had sports cars. He had a Pantera. I drove with a Pantera he shot a bullet into. Remember the one? Remember yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. I know the story anyway. Yeah, yeah, I drove that car. Actually put a dent in it. I felt bad. Oh, no. <laughs> You're OK. You can go through Just keep going. Yeah, you can stay right there. See, when you drive an Elvis's truck, you can go through red lights. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 one, of the, that's, that's one of the superpowers. That's one of the superpowers you get. <laughs> I'm cruising around in Elvis Presley's old truck with my pal, Blake Shelton. He's a huge Elvis fan. And like Elvis, people just can't help falling in love with him, too. Now tell me about being voted sexiest man alive. Obviously, it was a bad year, but do you have fun with that or does it drive you crazy? I mean, it's flattering. It's flattering, right? Well, you know that completely discredited that entire publication. You can't have this chin and this chin. 
right. and be sexiest man alive, well, right? Well, so, this chin plus the other two chins attached to it. I know, I know what you mean. Yeah. Well, you know, I was on the cover of People magazine, and it did say not the sexiest man alive. <laughs> well, I'm gonna find that and put it in this article. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, tell me about it. Was it was it fun or was it like oh, that's a little crazy? You know. You know, it amazed me how serious people take that issue that comes out every yeah, year yeah, because. Yeah. People were up in arms about it, you know, that, you know, how can this be? Did all the other men on planet Earth die last night or right, something, right. you know, so. But you were walking around with a rolled up sock in your pants, I know that. But to me, that's sexy, right? <laughs> in fact, right down here, I'm going to show you the studio where Elvis recorded Jailhouse Rock and Heartbreak Hotel. Really? Yeah, yeah. He did a lot of work in Hollywood. Did you I know that? Did not. I thought he recorded everything in no, Memphis. No, because remember, or... he was making movies here. Of and course, yeah. the movies had soundtracks, and they're all done around here. See that? Right here. Stevie Wonder, The Beach Boys. Elvis recorded Love Me Tender and Jailhouse Rock. Right here. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's funny. You know, you, you pass by these buildings in Hollywood all the time, and they just look like buildings, which I guess they are. But there's so much history. That, Makes it kind of cool. Yeah, I got one more place to show. I think you'll get a kick okay. out of it. I hope the next place that you got to show me has something to drink. Something to drink. You've got something yeah, to drink and something to eat. Oh, okay. Those are my two favorites. That's another thing, Elvis and I. We share a, a love for eating. Yeah. Yeah, because they eat weird things, right? Yeah. Well, you know what his favorite was, right? I don't. I'll take you to a place, and we'll find out. That is exciting. You know, hanging in Hollywood with Blake all day has got me hungry as a hound dog. Thank you. Thank you very much. What uh, kind of food is this? What is uh, You're going to have Elvis's favorite food. OK. I'm anxious to know if it's on the menu. Thankfully, I know a place that's fit for a king. In fact, a king actually ate here. This is the Famosa Cafe. Uh, Elvis would literally film right across the street over here. These are the studios. And he'd come here for lunch. Wow. We're gonna have Elvis's favorite meal. I think you're gonna enjoy this. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Here you go. It's your peanut butter and bananas with bacon. Wait a minute. Yeah. Thank you. What the heck? And whose favorite meal are you having? Well, I'm a fan, but I'm not a fanatic. <laughs> go ahead, dig in. I think you're gonna enjoy that. I thought this was a joke. Like you're serious. No, no, try it. Sweetie. You're seriously making me eat oh, this while you're having a steak. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I just want to confirm that this is what I think it is. Yeah, yeah. It really is. Right. Okay. How you doing, Mr. Elvis? That's pretty good. I was just going to say the same thing. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming on the show. You're the worst host I have ever worked with in my life. Yeah, I didn't have to eat the banana and bacon sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.